Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I am excited for today's video, this is gonna be a good one. So when I was in grade 7, many moons ago, we had this huge project where we had to create a memory box. And this memory box was supposed to act like a time capsule for the year. We could add anything we wanted to it, anything we wanted to remember the year by, like notes from our friends, or anything special that we wanted to keep. But I kind of took it further than that, so after grade 7, I still kept adding things to the memory box. And even though I kept adding things to it, I haven't properly opened the memory box and looked through what's in it in about 8 years. So for today's video, I'm going to be opening this bad boy up. This is my memory box. It is very heavy. I seriously don't remember what's in it. I haven't opened this in so long. So I'm going to open it right now and see all the things that I've added to it over the years. This is making me nervous because I don't remember what's in it. Oh my gosh. So these are medals that I won when I did competitive dancing. This pink one is from 2008 and this one is from 2010. I remember these. This was such a special time in my life. Okay, so this... Do you remember as a kid we had those books that had audio tapes that came with them? So this was my Alice in Wonderland cassette that came with a book. I used to listen to this so often. It was my favorite thing to listen to. This was my name badge that I wore every single day on my school uniform. Oh my gosh, Justin Bieber! I got this when Justin Bieber came to Cape Town. My sister and I were so excited for that concert and I remember this was in my bag on the night. So in high school, every single term and then halfway through the term we got a progress report. And I've kept all my progress reports. What a nerd. <laughs> How retro is this? This was my first ever video camera. I remember this cost me so much money. And I would take videos of my friends and just bring it randomly to school and record the weirdest things. I just felt like Freddy from iCarly. <laughs> this was one of my first phones. This is a Samsung Corby and it was such a big deal at the time because it was touchscreen. I would love to be able to turn this on and see the pictures that I used to take with my friends. I remember when touch screens came out and it was like, what? And then this was my Blackberry. This is a Blackberry Curve. And I remember in high school we weren't allowed our phones in class, so the teachers put a phone box at the front of the classroom. And that was where when you walked into the classroom you had to hand your phone in. And everybody in like 2012 and 2013 had a Blackberry, so the whole phone box was just Blackberries. And the only way we could tell them apart was by our phone covers. Do you remember with Blackberries that if you were low on charge, your friend could just take out their battery and put it in your phone? That was such a weird time, who were we? If one day I ever lost my memory and you had to show me something to bring all the memories back, just show me this book. This Little Red Riding Hood book followed me everywhere. This was a mini journal that I kept between 2010 and 2011. I don't even want to read what's in it, it's probably so embarrassing. This was my school diary. I remember I got everyone to sign this at the end of the year. In grade 7 we all had to write each other little cards and put a message on the back. And these are all the cards that my friends wrote me. I completely forgot that I made this. So this was a book that I made in grade 7 where I wanted to interview all of my friends so I could remember them forever. So this has their name, a picture of them, their nickname. Then I've got things like favorite TV show, favorite book, funniest grade 7 memory. And then at the bottom I made them write a farewell message. You know, I remember doing this and yet I also don't. This is great, I can't believe I did this. In here is a whole bunch of notes from my high school friends that we would send each other under the desks. And they were always so random, like this one says, Hello there Sarah Kate, I know you like pie. And that was funny at the time! Oh my gosh, this was like my favourite game as a child. So whenever I was sick and had to stay home from school, my aunt would take care of me. And we would always play this game together. So there's a whole bunch of cards and it tells a story and you have to put them in order. And anytime there was a little girl on the card, I would say, that's me! And if there was an old lady, I would say, look, that's Granny! I did not expect to see half of that stuff. I'm so happy that I kept this for all these years because this really holds 
so many stories. I really encourage you to keep a memory box of your own even if you start it now because you'll need a time capsule like this in a couple of years when you want to look back and remember how life was. And that is the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So stay safe, stay blessed and I'll see you soon. Bye!